What's up guys, this is Todd. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to optimize your opener as Protoss. Um, everyone wants to be able to copy the pro players, do the exact same build. Uh, I've tried myself to copy some players like Rain. It's going to be very, very hard to remember the build orders and understand how to execute everything. But what I want to take a look at today is how to optimize your opener. The first three minutes of uh, StarCraft 2 game is what we're going to focus on. One of the beauties of StarCraft is that there is always something to look for that you can do better and make better in your play. And the opener is no different. So uh, I've made a list of all the things that I think you should do early on as Protoss. Not all of them are as, uh, as important as the other, but I'm gonna enumerate all of them and tell you why, why I think it's better. And I'm sure everybody will learn out of this video, even professional players might not know about all the things that I'm about to teach you. So first, I'm going to go into a replay of, uh, I guess, a small session that I did myself just now, the first three minutes of play, where I tried to apply all of the things that I explained in uh, this file over here. I'm going to be talking about all of them one by one. And then I will try to show you guys uh, live if I can execute this myself and uh, how it's done basically. So the first thing um, that I'm gonna be talking about about all this is uh, you can keep pressing E, which is the button that you use to make probes while the game is loading. And if you do that, just uh, when the game begins and you get this screen with your probes in your Nexus, you can left click on this Nexus and a probe will start instantly. So I'm not sure I did it that well uh, in this game. Let's see at what time my probe started. Okay, I, I wasn't fast. I was not very prepared for this, was I? I'm gonna reduce the speed to the regular faster. I'm gonna go to zero seconds, zero minutes. And now I'm gonna start it. Okay, my probe started about one second into the game. So that's pretty good. Uh, I used the system I was talking about in this game. And it allowed me to start a probe very, very quickly. So now, the next thing uh, after that, obviously, is to make your first pylon. But what can be the best way that you're going to use with which you can make your first pylon? I guess when you're at, uh, what well, this is not actually 8 supply. This is 9 supply. Let's go a little bit forward. Let's see. I'm on 8 supply, 9. You start your 9th probe. And then when you reach about uh, 80 to 90 minerals, that's when you're going to want to grab one or at least identify which probe you're going to be using to pull off the mineral line to start your pylon. So I'm going to edit this file first. Not sure why I put 8. Let's see how I did it now. I'm on 100 exactly. So you see the probe that brought me the hundreds mineral, that one hero. I used this one to make my pylon and then I rallied it back to the nexus. Uh, I guess what you can do behind this is you can keep E pressed so that uh, even if you have less than 50 minerals, as soon as you have 50, it's going to start uh, your probe immediately. What a lot of people do is that they click on the Nexus, or they have the Nexus selected, and they press E, 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 E many times. They keep on pressing it on their keyboard. But if you keep E pressed, you don't have to do this, and you can be sure that as soon as you have the money, the, the probe is going to be started. All right. The, the first chrono boost will be made as soon as the pi this pylon finish. So a good way to time your first chrono boost is to look at this progression bar over here. A pylon takes 25 seconds to build. If you keep your cursor over here, you're going to be able to see exactly when it finishes. So in this case, you can go to, this is in gameplay, and I think this is the one. Display game tooltips. You need to have this enabled over here. If you have this enabled, you're going to be able to see that the 11 seconds out of 25 here, and then you can just time it this way. And there is something else. Okay, so first thing, you can use the same uh, way that you're going to do other things with this. You can keep C pressed when you select your Nexus. And then if you left click on the Nexus while keeping C pressed, it's going to use a Chrono Boost. So what you can do here is check the time. And when you're like two seconds away, you keep C pressed. And two seconds later, you click on the Nexus. So you're going to be able to start uh, the Chrono Boost very, very quickly. Starting Chrono Boost is not always one of those things that you need to use this trick with because it's easier to just press C and left click 
uh, than to do other things. But uh, in this case, I don't think it's that important. But later on, I'm going to talk to you about Chrono Boost where you just got the Chrono Boost, just like how you just get the money to start a probe. And I think in that case, it's definitely better to use this trick. So say, for example, if now you didn't have the energy for Chrono Boost yet and you want to use it as soon as possible, you will keep C pushed and then you will left click on the Nexus. But in this case, not necessary. So we're going to see. Fast forward a little bit. Now, <coughs> my pylon will finish. And I'm going to Chrono Boost immediately at 114. So what you should do when you use your first Chrono Boost every single game, you should take the habit of doing this. Even if you're not used to playing with the clock, I don't care. You, you need to start to. It's really, really useful to have a clock over here. 114, a Chrono Boost takes 20 seconds, uh, as you can see. So if you have 20 seconds to 114, it's 134. You don't even need to wait for this Chrono Boost to wear off to use the next one. You can know that at 134, you're going to be coming back to your Nexus and you're going to use your second Chrono Boost immediately as soon as you can. Uh, that's if you're going for a Gateway 13. Uh, I forgot to mention that I'm talking about a very generic and standard build here. Obviously, if you want to go for Gateway 12, you're not going to have the money to start your Gateway on 12 plus start a 13th probe. So if you want to go for Gateway 13 and just a basic build, you're going to want to do this every single game and uh, get into the habit of doing it. Now let's see, I use my Chrono Boost at 114, like I said. My 11th probe is about to come out and the 12th is queued right behind this. Uh, another important thing that you can do early on is use the probes that are rallied out of your Nexus, the probes that just come out, to make the buildings that you want to make. It's going to allow you not to pull probes off the mineral line when you don't have to do it. That means if you want to work on your uh, on optimizing the collection of minerals, especially those that are closest, like these four patches, uh, you're going to be able not to disturb this at all. So uh, let's see. I should be riding my Nexus here to make my gateway over there. And just before the, that probe will come out, I get to use uh, my second Chrono Boost. I guess it was like one or two seconds late in this game, but not too much of a big deal. So the probe will come out, start the gateway, and then first thing you do, you shift it to send it back to one of the minerals. In this case, I sent it to this one because there was only one probe on one of the, those closest minerals. And soon after, you're going to be starting another probe. Let's keep an eye on this. And this was all explained here. And I'm going to be posting this file, by the way, uh, in the description of the video, which I will post on YouTube. Let's start another probe. Change rally point back to minerals. Very important as well. Don't wait until it's uh, close to finishing that one probe. Let's see. I waited quite long. Okay. Could have done that a little bit faster. Now you're on 14 supply. That's... When you go gateway uh, opener in Protoss, you need to start your gas to supply behind your gateway. So if you go gate 12, you're going to be making at gas at 14. If you go gate 13, you're going to be getting gas at 15. So now I'm, I'm going to be getting my 14th probe with the 15th probe uh, created behind this. When that probe comes out, it's going to head straight to the Vespin geyser and this is one of the very important and good things that you can do while doing this is now this is right over here your finger should be above B and A on your keyboard so that as soon as this and also you can put your cursor selection over there so that as soon as the probe comes out you release the left click of your mouse it selects the probe and then you have your fingers on B and A already you press B and A and then you just have to left click over there and it will start your guys instantly very very quickly and then you you don't even need to use shift for this one. You can just right click just after the gas started on the minerals. Now let's see. I'm pretty sure that's what I did. But uh, then again, I myself don't do it every game. Although I, I've got into the habit of doing this. And here you see I click on these minerals. So now the opener I'm doing is basically the most standard build you can do right now. Uh, say if you, if you do a one gate expand versus Terran, uh, one gate... Uh, a one gate expand versus Zerg with just one gas. I guess Protoss it doesn't really apply because you almost always take two gases. But what you will do next is the pylon on 15, which comes immediately after the assimilator, if you notice. Uh, well, I guess you could call it a 16 because it's with that one probe that will come out. So usually if you want to open two gas, I really recommend using that one probe that's about to come out to make the second gas. But now in this game, because we are using this as an example, we're going to do the most simple build that we can do, which is the one gas expense. So now that one probe that will come out is usually used for to make the pylon. 
So I'm not a big fan of using it to make a pylon. I don't know why usually I will rally it a lot of minerals and then take another one and make the pylon. But I do think it's better to select this one probe to make the pylon. So now I should have maybe rallied it over there. Let's see how I do it. Yes, I finally do it. And just before that one probe will come out, you're going to have your third chrono boost that you need to use come into effect at 2.15 exactly. Uh, it's I explained this already. It's over there, 2.15. Third, third chrono boost always. So you're gonna use that and then behind this, same story as with the BA here. You can keep your fingers above B and E and the cursor over here, although it's, it can be a little bit risky, I guess, with all these probes uh, trafficking, but if you have very good control with your mice, uh, if you feel very good uh, with the way you select units, you feel it's very fluid, you can definitely pull this off. You don't have to be pro gamer necessarily to do it. Put the cursor here, you grab this one, B and E, left click, right click somewhere on the minerals. Let's see it. All right, then you just rally the next probe onto the minerals. And the core will almost always be made at 18, no matter what build order you do. Sometimes it's going to be 17, sometimes 19, but almost always in this water. This build is no exception. I'm going to be getting the probe at 18. What's important to note is that my gateway is seconds from finishing. You should already have a probe in position to start your core as soon as possible so that you can get everything faster, mothership core, warp gate and all that. So now I put probes uh, on my assimilator and I'm going to start my core, send the probe back to the minerals and the final step of this video will, uh, well, of this tutorial on how to optimize the opener will come into effect just now. It's your force corner boost which comes at 3 minutes sharp. So now this is definitely one of those cases where I want you to keep C pressed on your keyboard and left click on your Nexus as soon as this 3 minutes uh, mark hits. And this is what happens. So that's pretty much it for all the steps. I'm now going to show you how to do this, or at least I will try. Um, important thing to note is that I've already, I've already done this video in French and while I did the run myself, um, what I did, what I'm about to do myself, to show you guys, or to show the, the French people that I wanted to teach in the video, I failed. And so I had to redo it again. So I hope I'm not going to fail this time around. And uh, I'm actually going to enable something called virtual keyboard, which will, which will uh, allow you to see exactly what I'm pressing on my keyboard so that you can see that I'm applying everything. So what I did when I did the French video is that I was I kept looking at this while um, while trying to do it myself and it's it's very hard to focus on this and do the things in game at the same time so i'm gonna try to talk now and at the same time do the things but without looking at the txt file i should be able to remember everything i mean this is my routine after all this is what i've worked for on for a long time so i keep e pressed you can see on the keyboard right now and i'm gonna left click on the nexus very very quick and i take two probes I'm going to try to saturate the closest mineral patches. I'm not having the greatest FPS because I'm, win I'm in window full screen. You see I keep E press now again. Just going to set some camera hotkeys. All habits die hard. Very important to, for me to do some mineral tricks and now remember I guess this one, 90 minerals, is close enough, so I'm going to start the one pylon. And now, important to start the 10th one, I kept E pressed, you saw that. You see, even now I'm spamming E, I could just, give, I could, I could just keep pressing it now, 20, 24, 25, chrono boost, it was 113. Which is definitely one of the best times you can get for the first chrono boost. So 133, I'm going to start my second chrono boost. Rally here for gates. 33, remember, 2. Actually, this was more like 32. Let's start my gateway. Start another probe. And remember now the gas. So now I'm keeping my fingers, the cursor here, and my fingers above B and A. You're gonna see. That was very fast to get gas. So next will be the pylon over here. I rally and same. I keep C pressed, you see, and left click Nexus on 215. 
It's gonna start my chrono boost as soon as possible. Then there will be the core, remember? Saturate my gas. When this is about to finish, I will get a probe in position to start this. And the final step will be the 3 minutes chrono boost. And now, even though I kept Y pressed, I did B and kept pressing Y. So now I'm gonna keep on pressing C and I will left click on 3 minutes. And that will be the end of this video and tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and you give me a lot of comments uh, about this. I will be posting this text in the description of the video. And if you guys have any suggestions, feedback, anything, uh, I definitely like to do more videos like this in the future. So uh, I'm very open to suggestions. Thanks to everybody who watched. I hope you learned something. Recommend this to your friends if they play Protoss. A few of these things can be applied to Zerg and Terence, although not too many of them. Thanks for watching. See you later.